Hi, Mrs. Bolin here. There are a ton of games that you can play at home to work on fine motor skills with just a simple deck of cards. I'm going to show you one that I made. I used a poster board or like a foam board, um, but I'm going to show you a simpler way that you can make the same game with just a larger piece of paper and some envelopes. So it just is a game to work on sorting and you can see here that I just labeled each envelope diamonds, hearts, spades, and clubs. And um, I have the opening right there and I just taped it to like a larger piece of paper. Um, if you do have foam board, you can do the same thing and just put um, the ace above each envelope. So diamonds, spades, hearts, and clubs. So this game works on visual motor skills or coordinating what your eye sees with what your hand is doing. So I like the foam board because it can be upright. Um, so if you do it this way, maybe um, put it up on a wall or tape it to the refrigerator. And that way it challenges you to uh, reach up and cross your midline, which is always a nice thing to work on. So this one is diamonds, I'm gonna put it in the envelope. Diamonds, um, these aren't shuffled very well. Um, clubs, spades, and so on. So I think you're gonna really like this game. So because I noticed that the cards weren't shuffled very well from the last time we played it, um, I'm gonna recommend that you guys work on shuffling at home. Um, it might not be the complicated kind that you see everyone doing. Um, I'm not gonna teach you how to do that. Um, but just to get both hands on the table and, and, and mix them up, that, that too is a very good bilateral hand skill um, that you can work on. Moving them around and then gathering them back together. Into a nice clean pile, just like that. On the other side of this board, I made another card game using the same um, adhesive contact paper that I used here. I took the cards and assorted them in just a random order and used the contact paper to adhere them to the board. And you could get fancy and put Velcro on it and Velcro on the cards and, and uh, reach up and, and place them. Or uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it just laying it on the table. So with the board laying on the table, what you're going to do is just find the match. So this says six of clubs. So now I have to visually scan the entire board for the six of clubs. And I see it, it's right here. So then I'm gonna put it face down on the six of clubs. And then I'm just gonna keep on going here. Eight of spades. So I'm looking for the eight of spades and it's up here, okay? So you can see this is going to require a lot of reaching, forward bending, um, crossing midline. Uh, this is three of diamonds. Does anyone see the three of diamonds? If you see it, point to it, there it is, and then put it face down on top. Okay, this one says four of diamonds. Does anyone see the four of diamonds? Oh, nope, that's four of hearts. That's really tricky. I got the four of diamonds and the four of hearts right there. You really gotta work hard to differentiate a diamond from a heart. There's the diamond. Okay, this one is the jack of clubs. Who sees the Jack of Clubs? This is also working on visual memory. And, oh, there it is. Okay, Jack of Clubs. Yes, it's a match. And when you're done, it should look like this with all the cards covered. Um, again, when you make this board, you could use the adhesive contact paper, or you could simply just tape each one to a board and get the same effect. There are a couple other variations you can do with this game depending on the level of your student. Um, if your student doesn't have the hand coordination required to manipulate the cards and place them accurately, they could simply just point to the answer. 
Uh, they're still scanning, you know, but um, maybe that's all they can do and that's fine. Um, another uh, option is just to use eye gaze. You might make the board a lot smaller, give a lot fewer options, maybe two or three options, and they're just using eye gaze to find the correct match. So those are some options. I'm going to end the video with just a picture of this board and uh, maybe if you don't want to make one yourself you can just use the picture on a large monitor or tablet and uh, depending on which card you uh, the student you or the student pick um, king of hearts then you can just point to it on your screen so that's another option too so um, I'll just have it running for a little while and uh, you can just push pause and it'll stay up for as long as you like see you next time bye